Queen Victoria, the queen who gave her name to the Victorian age. I was one of the most famous queens in the world, and I gave my name to the Victorian age. But when I became Queen of England, I didn't want to be queen. I was very young. I was born in London on the 24th of May, 1819. I was the only child of Edward, Duke of Kent, and Princess Victoria Mary Louise of Saxe Coburg. I became Queen when my uncle, William IV, died in 1837. I didn't want to become a Queen. I was 18 years old and I wanted to have a good time. Also, although I was educated in England, I felt more German than English. I spoke German because my mother was from Germany, and she spoke to me in her language. My father was from England, but he died when I was only eight months old. As soon as I became queen, I learnt that I had a lot of responsibilities, but no power at all. From the beginning, Lord Melbourne, the Prime Minister, told me, Politics are not for kings or queens, they're for politicians. I have to change this, I thought. I'm the Queen of England and Scotland, and I want to make decisions. I want to choose the people who will work for me. Soon, several wives of politicians were working for me. In 1836, I met my German cousin, Albert of Saxe Coburg and Gotha, and we got married four years later. Our marriage was arranged for us. But we loved each other. We could communicate easily because I could speak his language and we got on really well. He gave me good advice on money matters and we took decisions together. We worked as a team. Our problem was that we were very unpopular. I wasn't popular among politicians because I wanted to rule and make decisions. And my husband wasn't popular among the people because he wasn't British. We soon found out that we had a lot of enemies. People tried to kill us several times. One day, my husband and I were travelling on a coach when a man shot at us. His bullets didn't hit us, so we were not hurt. Two years later, the same thing happened again. Then one day, another man tried to kill us, but luckily, he didn't have any bullets in his gun. This is a dangerous job, I thought. At the beginning of my reign, life for British people was very hard. In Ireland, thousands of people died because they had no food. In London, a lot of people didn't have a job, and there were a lot of beggars in the streets. I ruled during the Industrial Revolution. It was a time of technological advances. Factories started using new machines and the world's first trains started carrying things from one place to another. Cities grew fast because people moved from the countryside to the city to find jobs in factories. But factory workers earned very little money and they couldn't buy a place to live, so they lived in very bad conditions in old buildings. 
I lived in Buckingham Palace. It was a beautiful building in London. I enjoyed a happy family life with my husband and our nine children, five daughters and four sons. But our palace wasn't only a home. It was an important meeting place too. Many kings and leaders from other countries came to visit us. They liked the beautiful building and the paintings on its walls. Another important building in my time was Crystal Palace. It was in London too. It was a very large building made of glass. In 1851, there was a great exhibition at Crystal Palace. People from all over the world came to see the new inventions and machines that were shown there. My husband and I often went to the exhibition to meet the visitors. We enjoyed our public life. But one day, in 1861, when I was 42 years old, Albert became ill and soon died. I never recovered from his death. I was the mother of nine children and the ruler of a big country. I had a lot of responsibilities. My servants, the people who worked for me, and government officials tried to help me, but life was very difficult. I decided to stop my public life. During my reign, Britain became the most powerful country in the world. The British Empire grew and became the biggest empire in history. It included India, Australia, Canada and South Africa. There was much more trade. There were more jobs for the people and living conditions were better for everyone. I never visited any of the colonies of the British Empire but I travelled to Scotland several times. I had a friend there and I liked to talk about my problems with him. His name was John Brown. People didn't like my visits to Scotland because they thought that I spent too much time there. I knew that I wasn't a popular queen. I also knew that my visits to Scotland were not helping me to become popular. But one day, when I was coming back from one of my visits, a man tried to kill me. To my surprise, people were sorry for me. I became a popular queen. And later, when the country celebrated my reign of 50 and then 60 years, people were very happy and showed a lot of respect for me. I kept a diary during my life. I wrote about 2,500 words a day. My notes helped me to think and make the right decisions. I wanted to help my people and I did a good job. I ruled my country for 63 years and 7 months and I gave my name to a period of history, the Victorian Age.